that no one can close. Amen. We're going to speak on the subject just for a few moments. The season of the open door. The season of the open door. The church at Philadelphia was one of the seven churches that received a good commendation from Jesus Christ. Because this church displayed the love of God. And they had been through many trials. They had been through many storms and tests. Even in the natural, this was a place that had so many earthquakes. And even after the earth, earthquakes ended, they had so many tremors. So they lived a life of being on the edge. It seemed like they were always going through something. They were always uh, in a situation that seemed to compromise their walk with God and their lifestyle. And there are some of you in here today that it seemed like in the year 2014 that you've been through some earthquakes in your life. There have been some things that came to shake the very foundation of your salvation. There are some things that came to rock you and reel you and to destroy you. Even when you first mentioned at the beginning of the year that this is the year of double. This is the year of completion. This is the year of God perfection. If anybody will really be honest in this place and just agree with me that it got worse when you spoke it. Uh, it seemed like when you said this is my year, it seemed like it got worse. It seemed like your body started reeling and rocking and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. It seemed like your money got funny and your change got strange. It seemed like your credit was jacked up. It seemed like you couldn't get nowhere because you professed that this was your year. But I come to tell you today that 2014 is the year of the open door. He said, I've opened the door for you. In other words, that no man can open and no man can close. He said, I've seen your perseverance. I've seen your obedience to me. I've seen that you were willing to keep on keeping on when it seemed like you should have quit. God said, there's a door open for those that have persevered. There's a door open for those that have not given up. There's a door open for those that have remained faithful. This is the year of the open door. I know there's been some doors of distraction in your life. It seems like you were walking in the door and you found out that wasn't the door. You went in anyway and got in trouble. But God said, I closed that door. And you don't have to worry about going in that door anymore. It's the season of the open door. He said, you remain faithful. You kept speaking faith. You kept living faith. You kept talking faith and walking faith. And it seemed like when you speak it, every time you turn around, here's a distraction. Here's a door that's closed in your face. Here's a door that's closed in their face. But I come to let you know that God said, I've opened a door for you. I've opened a door for you that no man can close. It's June 27th. And somebody said, I still haven't got Somebody say the year is just about going. And I still haven't received the promise. But I come to let you know that God still has until 1159 December the 31st to fulfill his promise. Yes. Yes. You've been facing persecution. You've been facing attacks. And the enemy been telling you, yeah, all that shout and all that being faithful and all that. Still ain't got your deliverance. But one thing 
celebrating the new year. And the new year was that they would reflect back on what had happened over the old year. And then after they reflect back what had happened over the old year, they began to regroup. See, sometimes you got to regroup. When the door has been closed in your face, don't just give up, regroup. Get 
attacks. Get ready for some setbacks. Get ready for some tribulations and some storms. Get ready for some spiritual earthquakes to come trying to rock you and move you out of your place of God. Anytime there's a door open. The Apostle Paul was in Ephesus. And the Apostle Paul said, I'm going to remain in Ephesus because he said there is an effectual door here open for me. But Paul said, I'm facing much opposition. But Paul said, even in the midst of the opposition, I'm going to stay here because there's a door open. And I come to encourage you today that there's a door open and you may be facing opposition, you may be facing persecution, but stay there because this door belongs to you. This is the year of recovery. Position is certain to come. But the Bible says that Jesus is the door. He's the door. He's the way in. He's the way over. He's the way all the way we got to go. We got to stay in Him. And we got to stay surrendered and committed to God. He said, when, see, when God opens a door, nobody can close the door. Because, see, God is not like us. Where I will help you today and not help you tomorrow. You know, he's not, he's not rich and washing. He's not fickle like we are. The minute he's not in the next minute we hate him. See, God will open the door if you need him right. Stole my birthright, you know, stole everything from me, and I'm gonna keep it. And he was on the road. 
run. It's when the devil trying to get you on the run that God will open a door for you to escape.
So today you are here. And you know and you believe God's word that this is the season of his open door. But you say, there's something about me that I know is not right. I want to get it right by coming to the altar. Get it right with God. That shouldn't be the coming. You know that you know God's got a blessing for you. And he made opposition that's holding you up from getting where God wants you to be and open your door. You need to come for strength. Because he said that the church of Philadelphia had little strength. But he said they have the spirit of perseverance. And whatever the situation is, if it's dealing with somebody that's out of you, after you have prayer, you have to go home, and you got to deal with that person and get that thing right, get it right, and it all the way. Just don't get it right with God and leave the situation as it is. Whatever it is that we need to do, we need to do it at this altar, and then we have a continuation that's going to have to take place. You need prayer, you need come. Maybe you've got special prayer requests. Maybe I have anything to do with this. Whatever, you just need prayer, you need come. This is the year of the open door. Maybe you need to just regroup. Yeah, there's good things like you need to reflect about what has happened, regroup, and move forward. There's some of us that need to let some things go and continue to move forward. Whatever it was, whatever happened to you, whoever did it, whatever happened to you, go and move forward. Let it go, just let it go and give it to the Lord. Every head bowed and every eye closed as we come to the corner of this. Our Father, our God, Lord, we just thank you today, God. God, we give you praise and honor and glory. And Lord, as we assemble at this altar at the mercy seat, Lord, we ask you to have mercy upon us, oh God. God, we still decree and declare that this is our year. We've been through some storms. We've been through some tests. We've been through some wilderness experiences. We've had some spiritual earthquakes to hit our body. But Lord, we have remained faithful, God. And God, we thank you for the open door. And Lord, if we have not done those things, we ask for your forgiveness at this altar right now. I ask you to have mercy on us, God. We come to the altar to regroup, God, and to reflect on the things that we've done that did not please you, God. God, we want to move forward in you, God. Lord, we want to be spiritually blessed as well as naturally blessed. Oh, God, look down on us, God. God, give us strength to hold on to what we do have, God. Oh, God, our faith has been shaken, God. Oh, God, our walk has been, been going through. But, God, we thank you right now that you give us the strength to stand today. And, Lord, in this altar, God, we ask you to strengthen us, oh, God. Renew our minds, God, that we don't think the way we used to think, God. God, help us to walk in the newness of life. Help us to let our light so shine, God. In the name of Jesus.